Hey, what's up all my freaks and geeks out there in YouTube land? MGo here, and today we will be reviewing Robots in Disguise Rapid Run. So let's head to the table and check them out. So, here we are, and there he is. So here we have the second member of the Vibrator Triad of Justice, otherwise known as Team Bullet Train. And here we have uh, Mr. Rail Spike. A little uh, kind of muted gray color. It's pretty much gray, black, some little yellow accents here. Yeah, got the rolling wheels on the back. Let's take a roll around. Oh, so happily. Just working on the railroad all the live long day. But, um, yeah, if we can zoom in here, right there it says. Rail Star Cybertron. Again, very nice little detail. A little bit of translucent plastic right there. Not much. They kind of skimped there on the uh, windshield, but you got a good bit going down the sides here. Real quick, there's a little connector piece there, just like the others, just like his uh, his brothers do. Oh, it's very nice. You know, again, you know, no gimmicks. I mean, this is pretty much it. This is all it does. It's just a train. It sits there. It rolls. That's pretty much all there is to it. But very nice. Um, Alright, so down to transformation. First thing I want to do is open up these panels right here. Just kind of lift this whole section up. Put that aside. Next thing you want to do, split the legs, this whole piece comes out, put that aside, grab the legs, pull them down, like a suit, take the feet, and just kind of take them, you have to pull them down a little bit, I guess it helps, there we go, pull them down, see so you have it like that, Pull this down, bring this down, and you yep. takes a little bit of force, but you can get it down. It'll click in place. And bring the toe out, so you got his feet. And next thing you want to do is take these panels, hold them out, get this panel. Pull it out. You can rotate the waist here too. And you just want to take this whole assembly and just bring it down. Like so. Brings your arms down. Oop. Yeah, the one main problem with this guy is that his arms fall off really, really easily. It does not take much for his arms to pop off. They just... They're not in there all that securely. I may have to try to do the uh, the super glue trick. See if I can maybe tighten that joint up a little bit. Because the arms... Actually, this arm stays on pretty well. But this arm just, you know... If you look at it the wrong way, it pops off. But... Anyway. You want to bring this down. Take a flip this head up. Then close that back up. And then... You take these bits right here, you can flip this down, it's basically a little handle. It has these little panels that you flip up, little spike type things. And you plug this in here, it's basically a missile. You know, it does shoot. Sometimes it doesn't want to stay in, but get in there. There you go. It's basically like a missile launcher. And you can take that, plug it into his hand. So you pretty much have the option of him, you know, holding it as a shield, or, you know, using it as a, as a gun. And again, oh, <laughs> that's not a good thing to happen in battle. You go to hold up your shield and your arm falls off, that's never, never good. That's not a strategical advantage. Oh. And neither is when your missile keeps firing prematurely. 
Nobody likes that. Especially the ladies. This missile is one saying. Come on, man. Not in the middle of the review. Work with me. Work with me. There we go. And there's Mr. Rapid Run in his robot mode. All decked out, ready to go. He's very busty, as you can see. He's just, just, yeah. But, you know, decent figure. For, for me, he's kind of the weakest, the weakest one of the three. I don't know. I'm not crazy about him. You know, he does have, you know, still has a good posability. You know. The legs pretty much do what you want need them to do. They don't they don't rotate, they don't have the hip swivel or anything, but you know, if you still kinda of want to strike a little dynamic pose or something, you know he still can. You know, it works out pretty well. But um Yeah, for me he's just kinda he's the weakest of the just give me that. He's the He's the weakest of the three for me. Um my my main gripe with this guy is the fact that, you know, all of his colors are kind of dark and muted. You know, he has like this little dark gray, black, you know, just yellow, you know, kind of accents going down the sides. And then he just has a bright yellow face. You know, I, I don't care for the bright yellow face. And it kind of looks like he should be related to Big Bird or something, you know, it's just, he's got a beak and everything, it's just, uh, I don't know. I wish I could have done something different with, with, with his head. But, you know. Otherwise, not a, uh, not a horrible figure, but, you know, not, not my favorite. Not my favorite of the three. You know, your opinion may differ. You might like this guy. You know, he was definitely, uh, you know, kind of the cool dude of the group on the uh, on the show. He was the rebel. But, um, you know, not, not a bad figure. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd recommend him. I'd give him, like, you know, I'd give him a, a, a thumb and a half. You know, that that's pretty much as much as I can give him. I would say one, but I'll give him benefit of the doubt. I'll give him, you know, the thumb and a half, you know. Not a full thumb, thumb and a half. But, you know, not a bad figure. But, of course, if you're looking to, to you know, make Rail Racer, then you obviously have to have him. But, you know, otherwise, not, not, not a bad figure. Not bad at all. What are those two doing back there? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. I'll let them handle their business back there. Can't get involved in the domestics. But anyway. That's pretty much all there is to say about this guy. So there is Robots in Disguise Rapid Run. And this is Emgo. Rolling out.